Faulty serialization has caused a setback for the elections management body, Electoral Commission of Ghana. And tonight, we are all over this development. I want you to stay with me. Tonight, a spike in the efforts of the Electoral Commission of Ghana to deliver electoral materials timelessly across the country. The EC is now forced to reprint voting papers for the Ahafo and Volta regions because of faulty serial numbers. The commission summoned an emergency IPAC meeting to discuss preparations towards the 2024 general elections when this came up. Deputy Chairperson in charge of operations, Samuel Tete, delivered the news. Over the last few weeks, some concerns have been raised with the serialization of ballot papers for Hafo and voter regions. Whilst the printing of the ballots have gone down very well, the challenge faced by the Commission has been with the serialization of the numbers on the ballot papers. The Commission has seriously taken action to cure the defects and has deployed teams to the printing house to correct the anomalies. Gaps still exist, and the Commission has taken the decision to recall the ballot papers for the Ahafo and the voter regions. Listen, more importantly, this is coming at a time when the Commission has started nationwide distribution of ballot papers with the Greater Accra region in the lead. Now, what this means is that schedule will have to change. I want to show you what the schedule looked like until now. We know that the Greater Accra region uh, deliveries or distribution began Thursday, November 14, 2024, and that's only yesterday. Uh, today, the 15th of November, deliveries uh, in Central, Western, Savannah, and the Upper West regions. Tomorrow, now take note of that, Ashanti, Ahafo, Western North. But it's not going to happen in Ahafo because of the faulty uh, serial numbers that were identified. You go down to number six, you see that on Tuesday, 19 November 2024, the Volta region should be receiving its, uh, you know, voting papers as well. What we hear from the Electoral Commission is that reprinting needs to be done. That will not happen uh, as well. And indeed, Samuel Tate, who is the uh, deputy chair in charge of operations, says that, listen, um, those new dates will be communicated later. The commission has decided that the two regions ballots will now be printed by Bok and Axe commercials, respectively. So Bok will print a half of ballots for both the presidential and parliamentary and act commercials will print the ballot papers for voter region. We wish to inform you that we will share the printing timetable with you by the close of work today. The plans for the record and disposal would also be shared with you soon. Now, as you may have noticed, the commission does not say how the anomalies were detected, when they were detected, and what steps have been taken to prevent recurrence, at least in the other you know, six, uh, 14 regions, because only two of them uh, have been put on hold now. Our calls to the Electoral Commission have gone unanswered. But in the last hour, I shared some information, and I want to share those uh, pieces of information that is shared uh, with us, with you. Now, the Commission sends to us and says that, please take note of the following facts about the reprinting of ballot papers 
for Volta and Ahafo. One, the ballot papers printed have not yet been distributed to those regions. I believe I've made that clear already. The ballot papers are still at the printing houses and would be destroyed later as announced at the emergency IPAC meeting. Another thing it does not say, when, you know, the, uh, the destruction of the uh, faulty serialized uh, voting papers will be done. It also goes on to say, number three, that it is therefore not accurate to say that the ballot papers distributed to Volta and Ahafo are being recalled. Number four, it says new printing houses, bulk and axe commercials have been assigned to reprint the ballot papers. Finally, it says parties will be invited to observe destruction of the ballots uh, that is the shredding and burning. All parties present at the disposal will sign a certificate of destruction and copies will be given to them. Look at that. Oh, so comes in the political parties who were represented at the IPAC meeting today. Some of them spoke to the press post that event with the Electoral Commission. Take a listen. So it isn't that the Electoral Commission is deferring to us, but they themselves went and saw it and realized that, look, these ballots cannot be used for purpose. And it will, it will, it will uh, uh, compromise the integrity of the election. And so if our colleagues think that the Electoral Commission is deferring, that, that's not the case. When we raise the issue of the summaries, now everybody is benefiting from the summaries that we raise, the Electoral Commission brought to the public. Now you all, the media, are enjoying it. You are, you are, are, are serializing it. And then that is a plus to the NDC. Uh, we don't have any issue except that it came to us as an emergency issue to be discussed. Parties have little to, to, to say to that. Uh, so it could have come to us as a, a letter to or notification to political parties. We make arrangements for our agents to be there. But what needs to be done is that those that have been printed, you want to ensure that uh, proper actions are taken, i.e., all those ballots will have to be recalled and, and bent as such so that it will leave no doubt in any stakeholder's mind that any fishing thing is, is being done. I think that said, uh, the new Patriotic Party is focused. Ton of questions on my mind. I'd like to believe same for you. The Electoral Commission has not resp responded to our calls to uh, speak to us on this matter, hopefully later uh, this week or later next week, there will be responses to some of the questions that I have posed here tonight. In the meantime, 